Wow! This is so cool. I mean, this is really amazing. I'm walking up the biggest burial mound in all of Scandinavia. See the lake down there? That's where they took all the uh, soil from the earth to, to build this. And there are 30 mounds. This is the largest one. Right here. The, uh, there's only this one left, I, I've heard. Look up here. <laughs> it's big. It's crazy big. Do you know, do you know how many timber logs I used to build this? 75,000. 75. 75,000 75, to build this one grave for one man or woman 25 to 30 years of age. Uh, burned grave. But I read down there that there might be some left of the skull. This found skull fragments, which means we might be able to take DNA. That's my job. Oh man, look at the view. This place here used to be the, it's called still today actually, the Alfarvei, the way to travel through. So imagine you came up here, Hovin it's called, the, the place where you have the Hov, uh, where you, the church is right over here of course, because they put the churches where they used to have these uh, ancient worship places. So you would come up here from Oslo on the way to Trondheim and uh, there would be 30 graves surrounding you that you're passing on your way up. Man, let's go on the top here. And they have done excavations here. Not enough. I think there's a ship down here. Look at this. See the lake down there? Roll down to Oslo. This area is called Raumerike, Romerike, which means the kingdom of the Romans. That's kind of weird, huh? And this grave, this mound, is built in 552 about. Which is a really interesting time in history because it is right after the Fimbul winter, the three year long winter, and the plague. A lot of people died, a lot of people supposedly moved back to Scandinavia from the south of Europe. And maybe some moved here and they were called Romans, I don't know. But I'll tell you something. This is not a mound, all right? They used logs and they filled, uh, they made it into a mound, but it's actually a pyramid. These are the pyramids of the north, all right? 75,000 timber logs are we standing up here, built like a pyramid. And this is in the sixth century, and let me ask you one thing. If the ships grew, right? Because there were ship burials, this, these mounds. If the ships grew, in the 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th century into the Viking Age, wouldn't the mounds have grown too? Huh? And I'll tell you, there are a lot of huge mounds, and I know of some of them, that could be from these large, really large ships, but the mounds are too big for anyone to touch even archaeologists in a serious manner. And the georadar, you can't go enough down even. So it's kind of crazy. But I have this theory, and it's a little bit out there, but I want to be the first to coin it. Because I really seriously think the most famous Viking ship of them all, Ormen Lange, means, means the, the long uh, snake or dragon, Ormen Lange. Um, after Ola Tryggvason, he had that ship when he lost in the battle against the Danish and Norwegian king and the earls of Trondheim, the earls of Lade. Håkon Ladejarl had just died. And it's his son, Eric Ladial, who was fierce in that battle. You should read the sagas on this. And it says in the sagas that he took Ormen Lange back to Trondheim, back to Lade. And right on Lade, there are three huge mounds. Maybe I can find a photo here, as you can see. And, and they're too huge for any serious archaeologist to touch, I'm sure. But now with the new G-radars that can go even further down, I'm certain that on top of these huge mounds, you might find the biggest Viking ship on the world, Ormen Lange. And you imagine all the logs to build a pyramid over that, huh? I mean, we're talking the pyramids of the north. 
and uh, that would make them at least medium-sized pyramids compared to the ones in Egypt. Yeah. So I just wanted to share this. This is the first time I'm on this. I always wanted to go here. And uh, it's amazing to be here. So, uh, thanks for viewing and I hope you like uh, me sharing this. Take care.